To keep an eye on whether your business is financially on the right track, you can generate financial reports. And hopefully your reports will show that you're making a profit. You'll also need these reports if you ever want to apply for a loan or a line of credit. This video will show you how to generate these financial reports and briefly cover what the report shows you. And it doesn't really work to follow along with a working file because the dates when I generate these reports in this video would not match the date you would see in the working file. So essentially you would see a report without any data in it. Okay, on to the reports. If you want to see whether you're making any money, you need to run the profit and loss report. It's also called P&L for short, and just to confuse things more, sometimes people refer to it as an income statement. This report shows whether you're operating at a loss or a profit. Most businesses run this report monthly or more frequently to stay on top of things. So let's go to the reports menu and go to company and financial and choose profit and loss standard. And this report summarizes your income and expenses for the date range you specify. And this report totals your income and lists your total cost of goods sold if you track inventory and subtracts the cost of goods sold amount from your income total to get the gross profit. Then the report lists all your expenses and provides the total expenses. Your net profit or loss is the difference between your expenses and your gross profit. And so down below the final amount is your net income. And QuickBooks offers other profit and loss reports. And let me quickly show you those. Let's close this report and go to reports, company and financial, profit and loss detail. And here QuickBooks is telling you that it's going to collapse multiple items in a transaction into a single line. And that's okay with me, so I'll click OK. And this report shows you your year-to-date transactions instead of totals only as seen in the previous report. And it shows you this for every transaction in every income and expense account. But this is a very long and detailed report, which might be kind of hard to analyze. And so the previous report, the profit and loss summary, might be best to use if you just want to get your net income or loss. Close this report and open the profit and loss by job report. And there are these two profit and loss reports that compare your numbers with a previous year. But since this company file doesn't have a previous year, those reports wouldn't show anything. So let's click profit and loss by job. This report shows you how much you're making or losing on each job subtotaled by income or expense accounts. So only those transactions which are part of jobs appear on this report, and it's not a report to find your net income or loss overall. Let's do the profit and loss by class report. And this is where assigning those classes all throughout the previous videos, and this is where they come in handy. It shows you how much you're making or losing by class. The classes are subtotaled by income or expense accounts, so you can figure out where the money comes from and where it goes. And only the transactions that have been assigned to a class appear on this report. So it's not a report to find your net income or loss overall. And this unclassified column shows you the transaction totals that haven't been assigned a class. And there's one more report profit and loss report that can be useful, and that's profit and loss unclassified. So here, these transactions haven't been assigned a class, and that's why this report can be kind of useful. You can keep zooming in and zooming in further and actually assign a class. Then you can save the transaction, and it is now classified. And let's click No. Okay, those are some useful profit and loss reports.